rolled out in 12 new countries, um, which means there are about 2,500 stores selling the device. Um, the number of developers in the program has grown to 85,000. Um, and those developers are in 110 countries. Uh, and the number of apps in Airspace, which is our app store, have doubled from 75 at launch to close to 150 today. One of the things we want to talk to you about is an app that we are building ourselves called Freeform. Uh, and it is intended to bring uh, my co-founder David Holtz's original vision uh, for the company, which was maybe uh, I can use my hands to create and sculpt clay on a computer in the same way that uh, a five-year-old can create something out of clay in minutes uh, with, with real clay in real life. Maybe we can, we can, we can create an experience like that. Things like, uh, like the graphical user interface, you know, which is like Windows today, they, they tend to come with some sort of creation tool. So like there was like Microsoft Paint that a lot of, you know, maybe people don't think is the best painting program ever now, but for its time, it was like that first thing that people used, you know, and that was a really good experience and it was sort of an important part in sort of the history. And so we're sort of making something like that and that it's sort of one of these first steps to sort of letting people create uh, with this platform. And that's one of the things we're really excited about is that is, uh, you know, people, technology is getting more and more powerful, but it's not, it's not getting easier to make things with it. So now I'm sort of just cutting into it. And I'm cutting into it in the sort of direction of my finger. So you can see it's sort of sculpting mm -hmm. uh, in, the, in the way that I'm drawing. And, uh, and this is really interesting because this is not something that I have to really learn how to do. This is something I can just do. Mm -hmm. And then I can go ahead and I can kind of move up here. Maybe I'm going to, uh, uh, maybe I want to paint. So I'll go ahead and I'll pick a little red color. And I'll go ahead and I'll just start adding some paint. Maybe I want to paint up here at the same time. I'll go ahead and I'll paint up here at the same time. You know. A little bit up here. So here's a sort of a more complicated thing that a lot of modelers do. Uh, they'll sort of paint two places at the same time. Like that. The other thing that we're announcing is a preview of the next gen version of our tracking. Uh, so uh, when we launched the Elite Motion three months ago, um, it launched with the world's most accurate finger tracking, and, and it is still today the only technology in the world that can track 10 fingers. Um, and it has, it's incredibly responsive, and you're able to build amazing applications like the 150 apps that are in airspace today. Um, but there is a next-gen version of the tracking that builds upon this that we've been working on internally for about a year. Uh, and it really takes things to the next level. The new tracking, it takes, it sort of no longer it no longer tracks sort of fingers as sort of independent entities. It's, it tracks this finger is actually this finger, and this hand is actually this hand. And so it lets you do much more uh, nuanced things that maybe involve multiple hands, multiple fingers, or just in things in positions where it really, you know, the device might not actually be able to see it very well. Uh, but that becomes less of a constraint now when you understand the objects as a whole. Well, one thing that we really want to do is to see this everywhere that there's a computer. So uh, we've announced partnerships with companies like HP to embed the technology and in laptops and computers today. Um, but in the future, we want Leap to be in things like tablets and phones and even uh, form factors that might not exist today, like uh, head-mounted displays or 3D holographic screens or, uh, or whatever the future holds. Uh, so that there are a lot of exciting things, and hopefully we can be a part of them.